Welcome back to our 40 days of prayer. We're on day 22 of our journey. And guess what? We are wrapping up Psalms 119 today. It's taken us three weeks to get through it. Look here, Psalms 119 verse 169 through 176 is what I want you to read. But I take note of verse 173. Listen to this. Give me a helping hand for I have chosen to follow your commandments. Now the question is who is writing the Psalm? Most likely it's David. And now now put yourself in this situation. You've got unbelievable power. You've got unbelievable resource. You've got unbelievable authority as the king. And yet in the midst of all of what you have, you still cry out to God. Why? Because because David recognized one thing, that unless it came from God, it wasn't worth it. And he had so much humility about him that even though he had everything at his disposal, he stopped and simply said, God, it doesn't matter. I need a helping hand. I need you. In fact, next to the words helping hand, I wrote down the word guidance. Why? Because that's exactly what I've been asking God for during our 40 days of prayer, is seeking God for guidance, guidance for the church, guidance for vision, guidance for the ministries that I've been dreaming of for here at, and for the future of K-First. Man, I want guidance, and in guidance, there's timing. In guidance, there's provision and resource. There's so much that goes along with it. And maybe next to the words helping hand, maybe you can begin to write the things that you need help from God for. Now, if you're going to write anything, you know that number one, it's going to signify your trust in God. And secondly, it's going to signify humility. It's saying, God, these things that I'm writing out, I'm recognizing I cannot do, and I do not want to do any of these things without you. Again, David had everything, it seemed, at his disposal, and he still chose to humble himself before God and say, God, regardless of what I have, I need your helping hand. I need your resource. I need your authority, and I need your power. What an amazing way to end this amazing psalm by simply looking at God and humbling ourselves, saying, God, I'm getting rid of my pride and I'm depending upon you. That's all I've got to say today. Join us tomorrow on day 23 as we begin a brand new psalm and as we continue undone.